Good evening. Congratulations. I don't know if you feel this victory with uh, the fact that Italy has been undefeated for 37 games, uh, 22 years without losing an official game at home, and of course, European Cup uh, champion. Uh, taking in account that you've uh, started with two kids of 17 and 18 uh, years old. Is this uh, one of those victories who make a landmark for generations? Not at all. Not at all. Good evening. Not at all. We can't be uh, that, that absolute. It's a very nice victory. That's true. First, because we reached the final, so we were in between the two best teams of this competition. And of course, this uh, defeat was meant to happen for Italy, that's obvious. Uh, all series have a uh, beginning and an end. And I think, uh, well, this world record for Italy is just incredible. And we've been faithful to what we are as a team, faithful to uh, what we are looking constantly in every, in every pitch. And the players have been very good, they're very happy, and we need now to recover and, and start thinking about the final. Good evening, uh, Luis Enrique. Congratulations for the final. Uh, can you ask, can, can you confirm me that Gavi played his first game at this level? Absolutely, was his first game, but we know him. And those who know him are not surprised. This is not a normal situation with such a personality and so much football in one uh, one player, though so young. But it's an interior quite typical in our system. He's a player who can play between lines. He wouldn't lose the ball. He's got technical qualities enough to give that last uh, uh, assistance, uh, good physics also. So he's the future of uh, uh, the selection, of course, but also, as we can see, it's present. Good evening, Mr. Coach. Uh, congratulations for this victory. I wanted to ask you if you are happy enough to change what you usually do and uh, tomorrow read and and uh, read the papers and uh, listen to the radio just to read about the how well your team played no i won't read tomorrow because that's my rule what i will do tomorrow is analyze deeply this game there are uh, things to to progress on and offering uh, this starting and this interpretation by the players I'm, I'm very happy for them I told you yesterday that I was so lucky to be uh, the head coach of such a selection with 40 good players I could pick for this uh, for this game so I'm uh, very confident and very happy with my team yes good evening congratulations for your victory is this the most uh, fulfilling game with you at the head of the team and not only for the results but because of Gavi's presence of uh, Jeremy's presence and uh, Olar Zabal and, and other players it's been a perfect game well it's a game that, that gives a lot of satisfaction but it's not the most complete one uh, all the games well you analyze them on the moment and there, there they are there's no more importance about it. Uh, the idea is to reach the final, getting better on some aspects of the game, and 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 try to be, be a better a better team at uh, every game. But I don't think this one was one of the best. No. Great game by Gavi, and also by Jeremy. I wanted to ask you about his second half. Could he be also the future of Spain? And do we have a, a, a winger with him? And how is Ferran Torres? Is he able? To, will be able to play the final? Well, I don't know. He received a, a 
was sort of a little injury and on the second half he was uh, not comfortable so we decided not to take any risk so the risk uh, the clubs can be can be quite for that and Gavi well the level he played today on his debut is just exceptional but Marcos Alonso has been very good too and he's been uh, a long time out of the team uh, Oyarzabal Ferran is one of the reference of the of the team uh, and he gives us a lot and not only goals and and assist but also defensive aspects that is essential to play in this in this team uh, in defense Pussy, Koke have been great and 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 everyone really and Mi Mikel Merino Sergi Roberto, all the players would come with the the, the will to help the team, and that for a coach is just perf perfect. Good evening, Luis. Congratulations for this victory. Coming back to Gavi, what did you like the most? His personality, the personality he showed at some points of the game, or the easy he looked playing in some occasions well I've seen him a lot uh, as a young and, and even uh, with his first team in Barcelona the other day at uh, Madrid against Atletico so we knew what he would he, he would bring personality willing to, to, to play uh, courage um, nothing is too much for him uh, and he's a very complete player he's very physical he runs a lot and he had uh, to be on his idol, because I've been told he was his idol, Verratti, and I thought he was great on that. So I'm very happy for him. The beauty is very important, of course, but most important is he can be the future of, uh, of, of this team. And we can also say, as I said, that he can be his present too, because he's got the personality and the quality uh, to play on the, at, the, at this level. Good evening, uh, Luis. Congratulations. Forwards today were very important, weren't they? Uh, to beat Italy's position game. Was that the key? Well, I think one of the keys, or the key, had been uh, the personality and the will to go for the game right from the beginning. And then we did very well trying to find some air during their pressure phases uh, to be able to attack on those moments. And both goals come from that movement of our forwards that generates some spaces for the second line players. They've been very good. We could have scored more goals. Uh, it's a game that we could have closed a little earlier. But the message, of course, was clear. Uh, we didn't want it to stay 2-0. Uh, we wanted to score more. And Italy decided, logically, uh, to step back. But then, uh, even, the, even like that, we had some occasions to close the game before. And then... In a good action of them, they they scored and they even could have uh, drawn this game. But we are very satisfied with what we've seen. Good evening, uh, Luis. Congratulations. We don't know if Gabby is going to read the press, as you don't do. But obviously, uh, in social media, he will read what uh, people say about him, which is fantastic. How do you think he leaves this as a young player? Well, we try to give normality to this uh, situation. There are young players in this uh, team, but also older players who played like if they were 17 years old. So I think if the players reach this level, and not only the, the elders, but also the youngest ones, uh, they know who to look like, and they need to look like uh, the veterans we've got in this team. Uh, Busi, Azpilicueta, De Gea, uh, Koke... Those 
players more experienced and and on about that we are very very quiet of course good evening luis congratulations for such an important and harsh victory uh, Italy wasn't defeated at home for a for ages. I wanted to talk about uh, the nine, number nine in your uh, squad. But today, Ferran uh, were two goals as if he were a nine, a pure nine. Well, I've got a lot of nines. Uh, Ferran Torres, of course, but also both forwards, Mikel and himself, has been uh, have been uh, incredible with a lot of movement and a lot of space created for second lines players. Uh, we we want to score, and not only with a player. Ferran is scoring a lot because he's got these, that capacity, that quality. He can play open. He can play inside. I think his natural position is on the wing. But, of course, uh, we can play with many, many players. Four or five uh, players must be up there when we attack, and we need to attack as a team. Luis Enrique, good evening, coach. I saw you very happy at the end of the game, celebrating this victory. I don't know what you thought about at that time. Was it? sort of uh, relief or a sort of self-revindication for such a good job. Uh, is this the victory you can most feel proud of? Well, I'm very proud of this group and uh, of all the games we've been playing since I'm, uh, I'm uh, at the head of this team. Uh, the rest, well, it's nice because we reached a final. And it's nice because the players see their f their efforts uh, recompensed. But uh, uh, those games, as usual, have, uh, uh, and those gestures are, have uh, several meanings. I'm very happy for my family and friends, for families and friends of the players, and most of all for the public. It was fantastic to see today 1,800 uh, Spanish supporters singing for the for their country and, and uh, flagging those, those flags. So it was fantastic for me and for the players to see that. Good evening, sir. I must say that was a big surprise. Bayern Munich uh, plays in Germany a lot better than, than, than the national team. In this case, it's the other way around. The uh, Spanish election plays a lot better than uh, Madrid or, or Barcelona, for example. What do you th why do you think is that? Good question. I can't even answer because I don't want any problem. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't have an answer. Can you hear me? Okay. The the question in it in Italian for the Italian colleague. What were you most convinced about in terms of your team's performance? What did you find most convincing? No, what convinced me the most? was the character that we showed as a team. The fact that we were able to play the game from the first minute and we tried to keep the ball in the right way, that was excellent. It's always very difficult to play against a team like Italy. They know how to play football. They play very well building out from the back. And I think the most important thing for us was definitely this character that we showed. Last last question, Mauricio, can you? Are you connected this time? Can you hear me? Go ahead. Congratulations, Luis Enrique. You warned us yesterday because you said we're going to try and dominate possession. I don't know what's going to come to pass, but we're going to try it. And so mission accomplished from that perspective. However... Regardless of the red card that punished Italy, were you disappointed by Italy? Did you expect a bit more? No, 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 no. Italy are a very difficult team to come up against. 
They came into the match 37 games unbeaten. That's a world record run. And that shows the level that this top side has. However, in terms of character and personality, we produced a top performance and we managed to do exactly what we sought to do. So we are delighted, of course, and we're already thinking about being involved in a final. Coming into this tournament, we were already amongst the top four European sides coming into the semi-finals. Now we're in the best two.